know your IS code provisions short lecture series. In today's short lecture, I will explain about clauses on uh, members and connections. So what should be the behavior of members uh, joining into a joint and what is allowed and what is not allowed. So let's go into the details. Yeah, members and connections, that is clause number 6.1.4. So what code says is members and connections of reinforced concrete or RC, reinforced and pre-stressed concrete structures shall be designed such that premature failure does not occur due to share in bond. So why particularly share in bond? So share in bond are brittle, brittle uh, uh, failure uh, cases. There won't be any warning if uh, a member or a joint or connection fails in share as well as in uh, bond. So IS, IS 456 is uh, like code of practice for plain and reinforced concrete and 1343 is for uh, pre-stressed concrete. So what code says is to safeguard against that, some provisions for appropriate ductile detailing of RC members are given in IS 13920. So code is suggesting to follow this uh, 13920 for uh, this detailing. So let's look into this 13920 provisions. What uh, are the salient things which are said there? So detailing of structures. So now what is detailing? So detailing is just provide reinforcement bars. Detailing is provide reinforcement bars at correct locations and in correct amounts. So that is detailing. Now, why is it required? Why detailing is required? So to get a near monolithic behavior of uh, this members, near monolithic behavior of members or particularly the joints. So where beam and column uh, joins together or uh, uh, column and foundation or footing joins together. So we need to get the near monolithic behavior. So for, for what? For good seismic behavior and uh, what like how do we get this by achieving member ductility and structural ductility. So when we have this good monolithic behavior, so structure will behave with adequate toughness. And this is all for to resist large earthquake displacement during earthquakes without collapse. So ductile detailing is to get adequate toughness. Why? Because after uh, many reversals of load cycle, uh, structure should not lose its load carrying capacity and also should not lose uh, significantly strength and stiffness. So for that, this detailing is necessary. Now, what are the provisions of uh, detailing in 13920 when it is required? So generally speaking, detailing is required always, but Specifically, when we look at 3920 provisions, all RC structures, which are located in zone three, zone four, and zone five, so code prescribes that. And uh, it is optional for structures, which are located in zone two. So it is adequate detailing, which will uh, ensure the monolithic behavior of these connections and members joining the connection due to the reversal uh, river due to earthquake loads to and flow motion of the earthquake uh, ground motion and structure behaves in uh, that manner. Now coming to uh, steel, members and their connections of steel structures should be so proportioned that high ductility is obtained in the structure, avoiding premature failure due to elastic or inelastic buckling of any type. So inelastic buckling is a secondary uh, type of uh, buckling. So how to avoid how to avoid this one? By using the provisions of uh, IS 800. So actually IS 800 doesn't have explicitly the provisions for ductile detailing, but there is some section which, so there are some clauses which covers this one, but it is, uh, it seems that they are um, inadequate. So hope very soon uh, BAS will come up with a ductile detailing code like uh, ductile detailing code is available uh, for uh, RC structures, that is 13920. So similar code is uh, expected. So the intention of this short lecture is to help students 
and uh, budding practicing engineers to understand IS code provisions in a better manner. Thank you.